loads of models, 4248 here. So then this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to install Windows XP um, on your Mac OS X machine. Okay, so um, you need to, uh, to have an Intel machine. Uh, I'm using this of uh, this on Snow Leopard. I'm doing this tutorial on Snow Leopards. It'll probably work on Leopards and might work on Tiger. Okay, so um, this tutorial I'm going to be using VMware Fusion. It's an emulating program, and um, I'm going to be using an X Windows XP CD backup because it will be faster from actual actual disk image. Okay, so um, the steps are fairly similar in Parallels or another um, virtual machine program. So first of all, what you have to do is open up um, your virtual machine program. Uh, press um, a thing that says install Windows in a new virtual machine. Press continue without disk and press um, use operating system uh, file, like image file. Your yeah, installation disk image file. Okay, so select um, your disk image file, it will probably be DMG or ISO. Okay, so you need to press continue now. Um, it should automatically detect um, your Windows. Um, uh, Windows version. Okay, so now you need to press continue. Uh, if you want, you can use e easy install, but um, easy install might partition and FAT32 things like that. So it might not be as good. So press continue. Uh, Customise the settings. Um, uh, yeah, I'll save it to virtual machines and in the process of RAM you need to set the RAM to so I'd put about two thousand megabytes RAM. So it's two thousand and forty two I think. Two thousand forty. So once you finish that, just press start up. And it should start up the machine. You might need to um, press the, um, the play button thing. You'll see Windows set up. Press enter now. Uh, press F8. Um, oh, you might need to press um, Fn and F8. And um, there will be an unpartitioned space. If there is a partition, then you just press D. Um, and it will delete it and make sure that this is the um, file size that you gave it. Okay, so um, you need to uh, create a partition by pressing C and it should be by the default. Okay, so now you need to press install. Uh, format um, the partition using the NTFS file system. Okay, so um, it's just finished copying some files and things by itself. Um, so um, basically, I didn't need to change any settings or anything, so what well, escaped you didn't need to really see. Okay, so the computer's restarting now. Well, it won't actually restart your Mac, but the virtual machine is restarting. Okay, so now it should boot up into the Windows XP installation. Um, oh, and by the way, the cop copying the files and things um, and formatting and everything um, took about three or four minutes in total, I think, which is a lot faster than on the computer. I mean, than on a, um, from the CD, sorry. Okay, so, um, it always says 39 minutes, but it's actually a lot faster than that on a virtual machine. Okay, so now, um, the Windows XP installation, two minutes has just passed, um, and this timer thing has been changing, um, it says that about six minutes has passed when well, it's actually two, so basically. So it's a virtual machine that goes really fast. Okay, so now um, you need to change some settings. Over here you can put um, your country. So I'll just put UK here and you can change your location, so basically the time and things change. Uh, the keyboard layout, um, you should leave it um, as US key keyboard layout, I think. Um, even if you're in another country, unless if you want um, 
another to use another language. Okay, so a name. Um, just put something like Mac. I'll just put Mac man there. Okay, so over here, you need to put your product here. So um, I'll just pause this video while I enter that and resume it. Okay, so I've just entered my um, product key or serial key, um, and you can um, give. Now you need to give your computer a name. It's basically, I think it's a network name. I think the time zone doesn't really matter, but if you have daylight saving changes, then it will matter. And you can put the time here um, if it's incorrect, but it should be correct. This is just press next, and it will install um, some network things and then some other things. Okay, so I'll just pause this again and resume it when it's um, finished installing or ask, ask some, to change some other settings or something. Okay, so um, the net network settings, um, just leave it as typical settings and Wi-Fi and things should still work anyway. Anyway, this doesn't require Wi-Fi, um, it uses um, your Mac's internet connection. So um, just press next. Okay, so the installation has just finished. Um, there might be a blue screen for a bit, for about um, five seconds and I'll um, restart. The installation um, took exactly ten minutes in total. Now it's booting up into Windows XP. Um, here's uh, the Windows XP intro, which um, I think the Mac intro is a lot better than that one, of course. But I guess all parts of Mac are. Okay, so now I just need to press next. Uh, I won't enable that because I've got a bandwidth limit and it uses it really fast. Okay, just uh, skip that when it connects to Microsoft and stuff. Um, do not register to Microsoft and um, give your computer a name, I'll just call it MacMan. Okay, go to next now and finish. And now your Macintosh is booting up into Windows XP. Okay, so you can go into full screen. Okay, so the resolution might be a bit messed up. Um, at first, you'll just need to install um, Win VMware tools, um, all the tools for the virtual machine program you are using, and change the resolution to um, the highest one. Okay, so this resolution it might be a bit too high. This is just one two eight zero by eight hundred pixels. Okay, so this resolution is pretty good for a 15-inch MacBook Pro. Okay, so you um, you can change it to single window. And thanks for watching this tutorial. Please um, rate, comment this video, um, subscribe to me, and check out my other tutorials and videos.